Heroes made, not born, except sometimes they are born. On a gloomy night in a faraway magical land, England. Ah, a giant, oh, a baby. His parents, dead. But he lives. He is a boy who lived. He has a scar on his forehead, shaped like, you know. You get it? You are familiar with this boy? Well, forget about him. This story's not about him. Ah, another orphan. His parents, also dead. Killed in a freak chocolate frog accident. Please do not ask. This boy is whisked away to the, with his uncle in the even more magical land of Cattlepoke Springs, New Mexico. Oh, no! Where the boy grows up. Oh. And until a few weeks ago, this now 11-year-old boy had only the regular problems of a child of 1991. Oh, man. You've got mail. Um, Uncle Dave? Uh, a bird just flew through our living room and dropped a piece of paper. It says, I'm a wizard, and I need to go to a school in England. What kind of bird? An owl, I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. You're a wizard, Wayne. Also... Wizards exist. And you are one. Just like your British parents. Oh, your parents are British. Wow. We should talk more. I should drive you to the airport. And before he knew it, after a confusing train station experience, Wayne found himself at the gate of a certain school of female magic and male magic, where he would spend the next seven years. Tonight, we will be taking an incredibly in-depth look at those seven years. Over the next five hours, split into two po What? Only a hundred and ten minutes? Uh, tonight, we will take a look at those seven years. Seven years that were, in one word, eventful. It begins as these stories tend to, with an audition on August 23rd from 3 to 5 p.m., in the auditorium.